Hey, good morning, West Coast Johnny. How you doing? So uh, today's a big day. I'm gonna be under the Scamp trailer, finishing every single thing I can. I'm going to, um, I have a couple, about a dozen or so big screws to cut off where I put the screws through the plywood in the frame, the marine plywood and this like special glue. I gotta cut them off. They're sticking out about an inch. Then I'm gonna clean the frame really good with a uh, metal etching and rinse it off, let it dry. Then I'm gonna fiberglass all the way around the underside of the trailer where the, the shell meets the floor itself. Then I'm going to attempt to paint the fresh frame at the end of the day. We're gonna pour 15. It's called paint over rust, pour 15. And if you don't have rust, but you just put it on, on metal anyways, it'll preserve it. It's really good stuff, I'm telling you. So we're gonna keep working on this thing every day. Uh, my goal is to have this thing on the road. I mean, like, done. Hopefully, in the next four weeks or so. I mean, there's a lot to do, but, you know, I'm going to work on this every day till it's finished. My, my wife's actually wondering why I've been working on it so much. She has no idea that um, I want to surprise her to take her camping. She thinks this thing won't be running or, you know, for another year or so. But, um... She's gonna be pleasantly surprised because she doesn't watch the video. So she doesn't know that I vowed to get this thing going. So anyways, let's go start. Let me show you what I'm doing too. Watch this. Let's say here's the shell. It comes down and it kind of goes like this underneath. That's looking at it from the side, your trailer, looking at it from the side. And then underneath your subfloor is kind of like, like that. And it's, you know, attached to frame, to the frame in some spots, okay? Most spots, really. Okay. What I'm doing on the inside, the inside is fiberglassed. Scamp did put some little pieces of fiberglass right here. But underneath, where the floor meets the body itself, there was only a couple little pieces here and there. So I'm going to go all the way around and we're gonna fiberglass the underside all the way around today. Then we're gonna clean our frame up and we're gonna to attempt to treat the entire frame today with pour 15. So we got a lot to do today, but uh, today's the day. I wanted to show you my framing. It, it got humidity rust all over it. But see how beefy that is? That's, we had to kind of customize that just to make it a little stronger. What you don't want to do is leave stuff like this and then forget about it. And one day you got a flat tire or something. See, here's another one. And you're underneath reaching for something and you poke that because you never cut it off. So I got about a dozen of these in various places. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off. Here's a better view, see that? So I don't want water and stuff to go in my new frame. So I went ahead and I cut some metal and I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm gonna weld these little caps over like that, see? Just to uh, protect water from going in. I'm gonna weld all four sides. I just don't want, um, you know, and I gotta do it also right there in the center. See that? That piece right there. So I went ahead and I made a second one. So we're going to weld that piece on right underneath there. Okay, well, it's not the prettiest weld, but you know, I'm just using, uh, I'm just using brass. See, this is like a brass with flux around it. It's called a flux coated brass brazing rod. So anyways, that's what it looks like. It's not gonna fall off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. And when I paint my frame, it'll look really nice. You won't even really notice this piece was welded on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, the piece under the center as well.
All right, well, what I went ahead and did to, to cover this hole, I went ahead and I just got a piece of metal and I bent it in the vise and kind of hammered it out. And uh, it's gonna actually go like this, just like this, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and weld that in. Um, I'm gonna set that up right now. Okay, I went ahead and I got a jack and I'm supporting that piece up where it needs to be. So now I'm gonna set the, the uh, welder up and I'm gonna braze that on. Okay, I just sanded down the frame really good and I got most of the paint off and our metal prep is on and I'm going to be uh, rinsing it off shortly and I just wanted to get like 43 years worth of paint, house paint. I mean this thing had so much, looked like house paint all over it. Anyways, the other thing when I was uh, sanding I found the original scamp right there it says August of 78 and there's a little number probably the original one then there was another one up here and then uh, now I got the one down here so I'm gonna be rinsing this off pretty soon here and then I'm gonna start applying the pour 15 I just wanted to show you because uh, you know make sure you uh, paint and protect it because uh you know you want to get years and years out of this the best thing you can do is sand all the paint down put a nice coat of pour 15 self-leveling paint it'll protect the metal for years Okay, well, I just finished painting it. I wanted to show you what it looks like. See that? Can you see that there's no brush marks in it? It looks it looks like it was sprayed. Uh, and I just literally just finished painting it like just two minutes ago. So, if you want a black frame, I'm telling you, Pour 15 is the last product you'll ever need because not only is this really nice looking you know it's like a Krylon paint you know it'll it's just a beautiful uh, um, you know it's not water-based at all and for for two it will prevent the frame from ever getting rusty now that little can was $45 but like I said hot rodders paint the frames of their cars with this stuff and then they never worry about it again so if you paint the frame of your trailer with this you'll never have to worry about it again it'll never rust it looks great um anyways i just wanted to show you that well i wanted to show you guys how the frame turned out when i painted it i think it looks pretty good pretty shiny not gonna ever rust either and i just love discovering something that's amazing and then sharing that information because it's really frustrating, you know, looking for something through trial and error. And when you discover it, I just like to help people. So seriously, try the pour 15. So I'm gonna prime these right now. I'm gonna set that up. I got a little bit of rust on this cause it was, it got some rain on it. And after I sandblasted them a couple weeks ago. So I got some 180 grit. It's a really nice emery cloth. I'm gonna sand these rims down really nice because I'm gonna prime paint them with the uh, Featherfill G2. It's a high build primer. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just sand these real nice. Get all this rust and stuff off.
Okay, well, these are a little brighter green than uh, we thought they were going to be. It's almost like a neon avocado. I don't know. We're probably going to either keep them for accent color and paint the, the body a little darker, or we might paint these a little darker. Not sure. But anyways, next week we're going to do the electrical, and if that ends up getting pushed a week, then I'm going to paint it this next week. But either way, one of those two things will be done next week. And that's going to be a huge milestone. And then, um, I guess that's it. Hey, thanks for joining. If you have a YouTube channel and you want me to watch some of your videos or a video, um, let me know. I've done that. A couple people commented on my some of my videos. Um, and I go see their videos and if they're really cool. So, anyways, all right, everybody. Take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you.